So just to explain before I do this uh, acrylic uh, art pour, um, back in February this year I directed a um, amateur production of the Deep Blue Sea and I painted a load of uh, paintings that were used in, in the play itself on set. Um, I painted one of the lead character, Hester. Um, it wasn't my best work and I bravely, as I've never done it before, I painted over it and I wanted something to remember the play so I'm going to do a um, well, it's kind of a, well, it's not a dirty pour. I haven't learned all the terminology yet properly, but um, I was inspired lately by one of the videos I saw where you slid the cups around on the canvas. So hopefully this is what we're gonna do tonight. Now I've used alternative stuff tonight in my uh, pots. Instead of using the expensive stuff that I bought, I've used um, cheap alternatives. So we're gonna see if it actually works or not. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by flipping the cups on the canvas. I've done three. So one. Oh, oh no, no, no. Don't come out yet. There we are. Ah. It's going, don't worry. Two. Sorry. And three. Now it's a good job you've got them pins. Really? Because what we do now is this is some cheap paint that I bought and I'm going to run this in between and Hopefully we'll get some good results. The colours look amazing already, so we've just got to see if this will work now. So I'm going to pop a little hole. Not that I need to, because these things are already moving about. See if it works first. It probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 look. There they go. Hang on. So what we do is we just move them about. Oh, don't want to lose any of that stuff really, but we've got to get it about. So I've obviously gone for blues because it was the deep blue sea. But if this works then I may try something else. I don't know, I'm quite tempted to take the cups off as it is because I've got some good stuff going on here. So, let's see now. I think I might take the cups off. All right. I'm scared. <laughs> ah, right, hang on. Yeah, let's just do this. All right. Pop a couple of them over there. That one there. that a second to give us some paint over here now we shall just try moving it around and see what we get I always panic. I always worry that I've not used enough pain or I'm not doing it right, but you only find out if things work if you try. Quite good. Get in that 
corner if we can. And then get it to come up. Oh, I like it. It's very good. You can't see it at the minute, hang on. Tip some of that back down there. This is actually looking really good. So, I wish I could get something over in this corner so as it got rid of this blue. looking really good down the sides as well so I'm gonna just try and coax some of it down over the edge with my fingers of course it's been quiet out here all afternoon and now I'm out here <laughs> everyone else comes out so um, tell you what I'm gonna try and I might just try and get something that I can scoop up some stuff. Hold on a moment. So I've got my little spatula thing and I'm going to try and lift up some of these colours that fell off of here and try dropping them in this very blue corner here. try and get this to come back down in this corner without disturbing this. And I actually think that is quite fantastic. What people tend to do now is to torch theirs with little burners but I haven't actually got mine yet so that is in the post. Um, I guess We'll just have to see what happens overnight and see if we get any more little surprises come out. But this is looking fantastic, I'm quite pleased with this. And um, it's definitely going to be a keeper. I can't see any of the canvas exposed, so... That's good. Little bits of canvas that are poking. Not much to do now, because I think we're almost finished. I'm pretty impressed with the results so far, so... If that's the case, I'll be using my new finds a lot more. Just a little bit in this corner that needs touching up. There you go, step toes back. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting their gazebo up. Don't do it! <laughs> Winter is coming! <laughs> We're almost done. So what we'll do is we'll leave that to dry now for a few hours. I'll take it in eventually because I don't want the foxes stealing it. And then I'll take some photos tomorrow of the end result. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some sparkles over the top. So we're going to do some salt baying. Mm -hmm. We're just going to drop some sparkles. 
see where it's hitting. So this is like another surprise. This will be another surprise tomorrow. But the sparkles set in with the paint. It kind of looks like minerals, rocks and minerals. Which I like too. Think. I'll take some photos tomorrow and then uh, I'll upload them online. Thanks for watching. Bye.